Well, beautiful Sunday, everybody. Allie here with our next installment on the Elder Scrolls cookbook. Today we are going to be doing the Horker Loaf, which is basically a meatloaf with a twist. The Moon Sugar Carrots. We're going to be doing the Double Baked Potatoes. And I'm going to be making a loaf of the Rustic Rye Bread. Brian's going to be popping in and making an appearance too. He is going to be making us some more mustard sauce. I will admit, we kind of took liberties with the rustic mustard the first time we had a horseradish, second time he let it cook a little longer than it's said to. But we are going to follow the recipe to a tea today so we can do an accurate review on the mustard. Um, so the video is going to be, I'm going to try to shorten it as much as I can. I won't show me making the bread and everything. I will put a link to it and show just before I put it in the oven and when I take it out. Um, on the carrots and everything, once I get them all in there together cooking, then I'll show before and afters. And then the same thing with the meatloaf. Um, the meatloaf, I might try, show a little bit more of how I'm putting it together because it does require several steps and ingredients that I've never put in a meatloaf before, I guess, which is what makes this a horker loaf. And for those of you who play Skyrim, we know what those horkers are. Those are those wal walrus looking things we kill anywhere near water. Um, so yeah, I've got a busy day ahead of cooking. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Time to go get stuff together to start this bread. And then I will probably be back when Brian decides to do the mustard. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Remember, live, laugh, and love. And let's have fun. It's Elder Scrolls Sunday. All right, everybody. As I'm getting together all the stuff for the horker loaf, Brian's working on doing the mustard. Hey, what's up? What's up? And I'm also got our pan out with our carrots in it to do the moon sugar carrots. So I just wanted to show you one of these over here, and it looks kind of... Uh, but it called for smoked oysters. And you had to blend it up with carrots and garlic. We've got our breadcrumbs, heavy cream, the bacon. I made some more uh, storm cloak seasoning here. So as soon as Brian is done doing the mustard over here. He's going to go airbrush a model. He can go airbrush his model, and I'll get the hoker, horker loaf together oh. <laughs> <Hoker. laughs> and get my camera set up so y'all can watch me put this thing together. I was going to do the bread, but I forgot to buy the uh, wheat flour. So we decided uh -huh. since we have the potato, and we had hot dogs with buns today for lunch and tater tots, that we would take it easy on the carbs tonight. Um, I will get it though and make it this week sometime or oh, make sure I have it to, uh, me for. <laughs> make sure I have it for next video Sunday. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to try one of the soups. Maybe Brian's favorite potato soup recipe that's in there for him. Oh, hell yeah. So we're going to let you go right now. He's, uh, while he's finishing up that mustard and I get set up and we'll be right back to put together this horker loaf. All right, everybody. So we're back and we're going to go ahead and get together this horker loaf. Now we got our ground beef. Some of the pieces are still a little, maybe a little frozen. So we'll go ahead and just break them up a little further. Now I went ahead to save time for this. I went ahead and the breadcrumbs added the salt, pepper, and storm cloak seasoning to the breadcrumbs. And then we have our oyster mixture over here with the carrots and garlic. And then we've got our heavy cream, our egg. And then we have our garlic, which are gonna be the husk. So sorry about that, I had to turn the, the carrots down. I just started them. And then we're gonna turn them into the moon sugar glazed carrots. So it says to go ahead and add, now this stuff here, yeah. It smells amazing, but it looks totally disgusting. But you know what? Hey, we're going to give this a try. And then we have our egg. And our heavy cream. And 
and then our breadcrumbs with the seasoning in there. So we're going to go ahead and get this all mixed up. Now at the end of this, we're going to add bacon to it. So it's just going to go on the outside and then we're going to put some of the tusk uh, garlic pieces on the top and I guess when you get done cooking you peel it back it is supposed to resemble the tusk off of the horkers so like I said again or like I said earlier those of you who play Skyrim like I do are gonna understand what the horkers are so let's go ahead and get this looks pretty well mixed up So we're going to go ahead. Now it said to shape it kind of like an oblong with a dome on it. So we are going to try to get it all here. And then I'm going to move the bowl out of the way. And we'll bring this up here so you can see the the shaping of it so it said no more than four inches high but they want like an oblong dome I guess so maybe like that Now it tells you to wash my hands off real quick now that I've got that part done. A little bit of my hand sanitizer. Because I pulled the bacon off, I don't like cross contaminating anything, so. I've got the oven preheated to 375. Now it's said to place these three garlic cloves on top. Like so. And then to take the bacon, it said to do two on each side. So we'll go one. Two, one, two, and then it said to lay one across the top. This will keep your garlic tips from burning. And then that's what you'll pull back first is that so those garlic will look like little tusks from a corker. So we are going to go ahead and get this in the oven. It's got to bake for about 40 minutes. And then I will be back shortly to finish up the moon sugar, uh, sugar moon carrots and the double baked potato. See you in a bit. All right, everybody. So I took the horker loaf out of the oven. Here it is. Everything smells good. The bacon on the sides held up. I would suggest, however, though, using two pieces of bacon on the top because when you peel back, as you can see, the garlic still got brown. So I would go ahead and cover that with maybe two pieces of bacon. But anyways, I am going to get the potatoes out. And then once I get my plate set up, I'll do a little run over of everything we got. See you in a second. All right, everybody. So here we go. We've got the double baked potato that is brie and cheddar. We've got the moon sugar carrots and the horker loaf. Also, we did our collards from yesterday that we ended up not eating because my daughter bought us lunch out. So we're going to eat some of those tonight. So we're going to go enjoy this. I will be back with my final thoughts on everything. I will see you in a few. Bye. Hi, everybody. All right. So a review on what we cooked today from Elder Scrolls. I wasn't sure about oysters and meatloaf, but I will have to tell you what. It was delicious. 
Uh, only thing, like I said earlier, I would suggest using two slices of bacon across the garlic on the top. Therefore, it doesn't shrink up and expose the garlic. The potatoes, if you like a twice-baked potato, can't go wrong with it. And the few extra ingredients that were added to my normal candy carrots I would make to make the moon sugar carrots was outstanding. I think I will adapt this recipe all the time. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to cook next week yet. Uh, sorry I didn't get to the bread. I forgot the wheat flour, so put that all on me. Um, I definitely want to try some of those breads because they got nuts and currants and raisins and uh, different kind of fruits in it, dried fruits. And it's no, it's not a fruitcake. But anyway, thumbs up again for the recipes from the Elder Scrolls cookbook. I hope you enjoy these videos. Please like, share. <laughs> You know, subscribe to my channel to see one every Sunday night. Um, because, like I said, I had to clear Sunday's Elder Scroll Day. So I want to take at least one recipe, if not more, from the cookbook and cook them. Until we're all done. And then who knows, we'll buy another one and maybe do another review on another one. I know there's a D&D &D one out there. I think there's, like I said, a Fallout. Um, but I really enjoy doing these little cooking and trying different things. So... I will see you all next time. Who knows, I might throw a video up during the week, depending on what we're doing. But remember, live, laugh, and love. And I will see you all next time.